important to you when you want to do travel somewhere? For example, when you decide to travel to go somewhere, is there anything that you really think about, you know, and say, OK, this this is really important to me. It can be like people's culture or something like economy or I don't know. So Asian or European country. So which one? Yeah, when uh, I have a lot of things to prepare for um, trip. Um, first of all, I uh, have to look for the place that I will go and yeah. uh, I um, I will look looking for I will look for a hotel near that place um, and then um, I must look for the the means of transport to uh, go from this place to another place yeah. and um, book air ticket and ah. uh, I have to book the train ticket too. Yeah. Uh. First. So so the first thing that you think about is the place, for example. I'm going to travel somewhere, but I don't know if it's better to travel to the US or Switzerland or, for example, China or other countries. So what is really important to you to choose something, you know, for choosing somewhere to go? Yeah, the sense. <laughs> the beautiful sense. The ah, of course. So nature and beauty, of course. Yeah. So natural beauty is really. So you can say that natural attractions natural attractions are really of course it means you know the place should be beautiful so maybe beautiful nature so natural attraction is really important to you yeah of course so because of this you decided to go there and uh, but you know one of my students sent me some photos from China oh, it's a beautiful country I didn't know but that's really the beautiful country so I know some beautiful green places and everywhere was really green and beautiful. So maybe later, you know, one day I will travel to China if I can. <laughs> yeah, so maybe it's good. but mm, these are a lot of things you have to yeah. consider. Oh, wow, <laughs> because I don't know anything about this country. So why? First of all, the language, because Chinese people, they cannot understand when you speak English. Oh. Their English is awful. Oh, oh, so of course, so I can't travel. So I need, you know, I, I need to have one of my students as leader. <laughs> I still got <laughs> traveling, so please help the me. Second one, the yeah. second one is uh, the smell of restroom. It's really terrible. Ah, oh, why? Yeah, uh, some restroom is built by um, granite. It's very beautiful. Ah, oh. the smell. I don't know why the smell oh. when you <laughs> ten met from the restroom, you oh. can, you can. Smell oh. it. You can, yeah, yeah, you can get the smell. Oh, do not need to to see the uh, direction. You just <laughs> smell, and you know <laughs> where is it. Oh, and everywhere, yeah. actually, everywhere in this, you know, everywhere. yes, everywhere, especially the uh, the the two the famous place for the tour. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, I didn't know. So you traveled there. I I studied in China. Oh, <laughs> you started. So you know everything. OK, so tell me everything about China. So oh, I didn't know because, you know, of course, I never ask my students, you know, something like this. But, you know, something that I could get from the photo from the picture was you know, really beautiful place to visit. But when you say, oh, so they don't understand. And 
this is a bit weird because normally people out around the world, you know, not all the people, but you know, maybe a few of them. So when you see some people, of course, in the city, on the street or everywhere, you know, maybe a few people can understand English and can speak English, not very fluently, but of course, acceptable. But you know, that's really interesting. It's because they are uh, racist. You know, they only think about, you know, it's because of this or no, just they don't like to because I have lots of students from China. So I, I, I've had, you know, from the past uh, since past to present. But, you know, uh, are they racist? You think they don't like to learn all the languages except their mother tongue? Yes, because they think they are the heart of the world. Oh. Yeah, because just, uh, you know, what what is the name of China? China, uh, China in uh, um, <clears throat> the name, that name means the heart of the world. China, oh, yeah. so they think that they I, are. The yes. <laughs> wow. That's why they don't, they don't need to learn another language. Wow, That's, their English is terrible. Ah, of course. Wow, thank you. Thank you for giving me this information. I didn't know anything about China, but you live there and you know everything about that country. So, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, yes. yeah it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, wow. And Al, tell me about food. So tell me, uh, about cuisine, you know, Chinese cuisine. So tell me, delicious or no, something that we can't try? Yeah, mm. according to me, because um, we, we have to talk about the Chinese culture. It's divided in, into different regions. Uh, therefore, the, the south of China, is I I think the dishes of them is really fantastic. Oh. You know, when I come to a restaurant, I must look for that word, the north, the south of China. And oh. if they have that word, I'm I will come in. If not, because they they div divided into um no Guangzhou. Guangzhou is the best. The dishes of Guangzhou is the best. But uh -huh. there are different kind of restaurant. Uh, it's uh, from Fukin, Fujin, uh, Xinan, Beijing, Shanghai, different regions. Uh -huh. And each region, the taste of the dishes is quite different. Uh -huh. Uh, but only, I think, only the Guangzhou, Guangzhou Guang, uh, if we, you see that's, that's work in front of the restaurant, uh, we can come in. Yeah, of course, I heard, I heard one of, one of my students, yeah, actually lives in south of China, so Guangdong, like something like this, Guangdong? Yeah, yes, yeah, that's right. Uh, I know, and, and, and I heard that, you know, she, uh, he told me that, for example, they normally drink tea, a spe actually special kind of tea. They normally drink tea. And for example, uh, if you travel there, actually, as their guest, of course, they serve some different type of teas, uh, you know, special, you know, uh, something like different tea and uh, cups of tea. So it's something like maybe they have I don't know, herbal tea, um, something like, you know, cups of herbal tea, I'm not sure. But I know, I heard that, you know, they have special, you know, kind of drink, you know, that is different from north of China. It's, it's absolutely different from north of China. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. tea is very good for the health. And um, that's why mm, most of Chinese uh -huh. are sick. Of course, that's mm. uh, Oh, that's great. So thank you. But they have uh, some asterisk rules. I know.
because, for example, they can't use Skype. So I use another actually application, as I told you, remember, for example, Classin and the other application to teach my Chinese students. So they are not allowed to use Skype or, for example, they are not allowed to use Google or some other applications. Yes. Yeah. When you uh, when you come to uh, China, yeah. you, you cannot use Google. Uh, cannot use Google and some other uh, like uh, Facebook, no Facebook, no Google. Yeah. Wow. So it's weird. I don't know. You know, before this, I thought that uh, it's a country like we hear about it. Oh, North Korea. So I heard, you know, some news about North Korea and I thought that oh, this country is really strange. But I think no about China, you know, somehow not exactly but somehow they are the same in some ways they are the same so north korea and china so strict rules and i think government controls everything all yeah. people lives yeah of course so i think it's hard to leave there wow. <laughs> yeah of course of course i haven't lived but i can't say anything about it but you lived and you know well thank you thank you so much for sharing your information with me thank you it was really useful you're welcome okay uh, today you taught me lots of things okay well and now actually our discussion is related to the topic that we're going to discuss today so fraser for asking information when i want to ask you you know some information about something of course it can be about price or for example about products so they're different so the first thing for example if you want to ask for information what do you say so normally what you say what, what kind of information? For uh, example, for example, uh, you want to ask for address. <clears throat> mm, hello, excuse me. Um, maybe. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would like to go to this place, but I don't know whether it's still far from here. Um, could you please help me? Hmm? Of course, of course, that's great. Yeah, of course. So it can be really good. Now let's, okay, let's just start with this uh, topic, maybe asking for address or somewhere. Okay, so excuse me is good. Excuse me, can or could, you know that we use could to make our statement polite. So say, excuse me, could you tell me how to get, how to get to somewhere, to for example, this restaurant, how to get to, for example, bus station, how to get to somewhere, okay? So the first uh, phrase, let me write, okay. Excuse me. Tell me how to get, for example, to the bus station. Or you have a map, for example, uh, I have a map. Can you show me on the map? For example, I'm looking for this place. So can you or could you show me on the map, please, if you have a map, for example. Okay. Um, but yeah. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't think this sentence is uh, useful now. Because it is. We, ah, we, of course it is, we are because that phone was in the map. <laughs> yeah, let me sh say something. Of course we use maps on the phone. So, of course, we have navigation and you know that we use maps on the phone. So, for example, sometimes you need to show the map, OK, on your phone to someone. OK, for example, um, and we normally use this. So, of course, you use Google and so it's it's OK. But sometimes, you know, if there is no Internet and for example, something like this, you know, <laughs> just this. But of course, as you said, really is. 
And uh, another one that is really maybe informal, common. So you can say, excuse me, do you know where, for example, this restaurant is? So. Yeah, but because thanks to the Google map, now we do not need to to ask the information. <laughs> The I was, I was teaching, yeah, I was teaching to one of my students. And I said, OK, tell me if you if someone asks you for information for an address, what you say? And he said, OK, I say just search. OK, Google map, use Google map. I say, OK, that's great. Thank you. So <laughs> that's a great. OK, you can check your phone and you can search on Google map, of course. So do you know? Where, for example, where I don't know this place is, for example, where the police station is. OK, so here, you know, in this question, actually, you know, you know the name of place, but you don't know how to actually go there. So it's it's good to ask. So where, of course, it's really normal. We normally and the, or how far? So this one is, of yeah. course, again, we have Google Maps, so we don't yeah. need how far. <laughs> so I think we should ask uh, something like uh, where is the restroom or uh, where is the cashier? Yeah, of course, of course. Or for example, how far is it? I don't know, to, for example, how far is it to the restroom? How far is it, for example, to the beach? How far is it for ex from here? So you can ask. So how far? to the, I don't know, beach, for example, from here. So, let me put this here. Oh, okay. well, so this. So actually this uh, some uh, varies and for example, something like this. We normally some normal phrases, questions that we normally and the answers, for example, OK, someone, can you could you tell me how to get to the bus station? Yes, of course. For example, let me show you and something like and you can answer with yes and no. So it's not something that we normally I don't know. It's something weird about it. So OK, and now when you ask for some information, for example, on a product, OK, in this, OK, or for example, about a product. OK, for example, could you give me some information? OK. On this product or for example, could you give me some more information on this product? So when you ask for some information about something like, for example, a product, so you can say. Could you give me some or can be some more? For example, you ask for information and you need more. So some more information on this, for example, and this on OK, this product. Or can you tell me about this product that is really, really normal? Can you tell me? Excuse me. It is Germanica. You haven't shared screen yet. I cannot see oh, it. Really? I was I was typing for myself. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> I was typing for myself. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Forgot to share my screen. Okay. And uh, just tell me. Tell me about this. It's not really good. Tell me is not really good, so it's better to ask a question. OK, well, and the answer, for example, this is um, one of our top brands. So or for example, it's our best selling product. It's our best selling refrigerator. So you can say, can you tell me about this product? And for example, this is the best in its class. So that's really good when you want to talk about now you need to answer someone ask you, for example, I say that, OK. Uh, I know that you have um, good coffee, very excellent coffee in your country and you know 
yeah, of course. So I, I want to ask for, you know information about this coffee. So you want to talk about, you want to tell me about the best coffee in your country. So could you tell me about, you know, the best coffee that you export to all the countries? Yeah, um, that is uh, doing coffee because my older sister is um, it's a coffee warm. Oh, wow. She, she drink coffee every day. Oh, uh, of course, of course, we have all of us. We are all of us. We are you know, every morning, every noon. <laughs> but the yeah. Vietnamese coffee is much. Uh, strong is stronger uh -huh. than yeah. our Western coffee. Uh -huh. Yeah, so when I high caffeine, you mean high caffeine? Yes, it's ah. uh, very strong. And she drink the coffee, black coffee, without sugar, without milk, every yeah. day. Of course. Oh, of course. So, got it. So, you mean that they're strong? So, which means you know some um, high caffeine coffee, we say, or yeah. we say, yeah caffeinated so let me write this word maybe so we can say okay so this is so caffeinated coffees okay or we can say high caffeine so you mean strong when you say strong okay so or high caffeine coffee like this so wow yeah when i was in china yeah some chinese told me that uh, when I return to my country and I have to come back the next, uh, uh -huh. next bring them some Vietnamese coffee yeah. and Vietnamese chili because Vietnamese chili is really, really uh, spicy, <laughs> peppery, peppery, yeah. spicy, it's spicy, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Strong, of course, got it. Wow. So, so you have, I can say, strong taste. So you have strong taste in your country. And let me say something. You said something about your uh, sister, uh, coffee worm. But you know, for something, it's something when something turns into addiction that you normally you, you do it every day. It's something like addiction. Uh, use something more. We say holic. So you can say coffee holic. So coffee holic. Okay, let me put this. Okay, it means a person who drink coffee. You know, addicted to coffee. So too much coffee every day. So we have, for example, we have workaholic. It means a person who works a lot. And we have alcoholic, a person who addicted to alcohol. So we use holic yeah okay well that's great so um uh, you talked about coffee and that was uh okay very good well and now let's talk about how to answer for example uh, this question so for example i as i told you we can say could you talk about this and you say yes of course you give me some information and something okay and now uh the answers for example you want to give me a name the name of a brand for example this is so you can say for example a name i don't know or this is so anything this is one of for example best selling coffees okay so something like this products or brands or brands 
So when you want to talk about the name you want to give, OK? Or for example, in this class, it's very good. It's perfect one, OK? It's excellent or I highly, when you want to say that this one is really good, I highly recommend this one. You know, I highly recommend this brand of coffee so because it's really good, so you can say. And of course, uh, if you want to talk about different models, OK, for example, not coffee, something like, for example, computer. Excellent computer. Or for example, this model, you want to talk about something like your laptop or for example, refrigerator, stove, OK? This model comes with several features. For example, um, smartphone. This model comes with several features. Okay, so something like this when you talk about actually talk on a product. Well, and now you want to ask for information. OK, how you how you ask for information? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for price. Is it information? How you ask for price? Excuse me, how yeah? much? The this cost? How much? How much does it cost? That's great. OK, but we can also use all the phrases. For example, how much does it run? How much is it? How much does it cost? Or uh, what does this sell for? So let me write here the first one. How much is it? So you know I'm not going to write it again. Does this, for example, sell for? It sells for, for example, one thousand bucks. Or how much is it? The other one. Or for example, how much does it run? So all of them, you can say, how much does it run? So, for example, the answers. Uh, what does this sells for? This one, for example, this coffee sells for one thousand dollars or one thousand bucks. Or, for example, uh, you can say this one goes for, okay? Or this one is priced at. So let me write the answers. You can say this one sells for okay you can give the price or this one goes for another one goes for again price so another one and this is something really normal this one is priced at but as i told you before it depends so, for example, when you're talking to a friend, you don't need to use these phrases. So of course, just how much is it? I say, okay, for example, 1,000 bucks, just this. So it's formal, especially when you're talking to people who actually you don't have a close relation with. So you need to use formal language, but informal, casual, just give the price. Okay, I think, and then, when you want to say that something, for example, is cheap, it's better to say reasonable, not cheap. Cheap is not good. Reasonable price, OK? Or, for example, it's expensive, it's pricey. Pricey is better than expensive, but we don't say expensive a lot. So pricey is very good. Well, OK, so actually this part um, is about information, but uh, there are all the phrases that when you want to ask for information, other questions, for example, general information. Uh, could you tell me about your, for example, tourist attraction in your country, something like this? So could you tell me about the tourist attraction, the most beautiful tourist attraction in your country? 
I would like to know. I would like to know more about your country. So this one. Do you know? Do you know where it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know how much it is? So it's something like good we say. But this one. Do you have any idea? Ah, oh, do you have any? Oh, what is this? My keyboard is really good keyboard, you know? OK, so do you have any idea? Do you have any idea about, for example, uh, the best selling coffee in your country? So the best selling coffee in your country. Do you have any? What do you think? OK, so it's better instead of saying what do you think? Do you have any idea? It's really good one that you can say and could. Now you are in. Uh, in the class. You're talking to students, OK? All of them, a group of people. So could anyone tell me? Could anyone tell me where the most beautiful tourist attraction of Vietnam is? So could anyone tell me? OK, or could you tell me so? As I told you, could you tell me? Or do you know? It's really common. Okay. And uh, another thing. Ah, for example, something uh, formal. I was wondering. I was wondering, for example, if I can take a taxi or I can walk there. So I was wondering, I was wondering if you have any idea about the, for example, this issue. So another, but it's, I don't know, it's a bit formal, so we don't need, okay? Well, and this one is good. Could you give me some idea of, could you give me some idea of the best selling coffee in your country? So it means, can you talk about it? So different phrases or I'm looking for a very beautiful place to visit. So, uh, you know, could you give me some idea of the place or for example, something like this? So there are different phrases, but you know too much. You don't need to memorize all of them because you don't use them. Well, and now let's practice. OK, well, it's your turn. Let's use one or two. You ask me something. <laughs> Could you give me some idea of traveling in USA? Because I cannot, uh, I don't know how to drive a car. So I have to use um, any the main public transport Wars ah uh, so you mean traveling okay traveling so you mean inside or travel from a uh, different country to it, my country so which one yeah. okay yeah yeah of course okay. get it so i to some city maybe that is los los angeles or new york and then how i um <clears throat> travel from this city to another city which mean of transport actually yeah. let me say something about so of course <laughs> so let me briefly talk about it so this is your question so let me briefly talk about it. so as you know uh, in the us there are different states and actually we have different you know uh, time difference in different space. Some, you know, for example, some areas four hours different. So you can guess how long, okay? So they are from each other. So how far they are. So it depends where you want to go, or for example, uh, from this one state to another state. So normally you act, for example, uh, from Chicago to uh, for California to Los Angeles, for example, it takes about uh, maybe 27 hours 
so by uh, actually maybe public transport okay by car so it's better not to use because it can be very tiring but for example it's better to uh, get on plane and travel by plane so it's faster but actually if you mm, talk about the city for example if you travel from one destination to another place in city for example it depends again it depends so in country when if there is railway of course that's great so for example in los angeles okay so metro rail or subway is common to you so you can actually uh, something like express bus and uh, for example subway or metro metro rail or for example you can connect to downtown using this public transport but as i told you you know it depends on the city or state that you're gonna travel but normally public transport is really you know common usable and most of people is something like and we have a culture let me say something we have a culture about it. So, for example, we can say sophisticated people, like, you know, cultured people normally use public transport to travel somewhere. So it can be but normally subway, because we have subway everywhere, and just this. And for example, sometimes like, you know, uh, express bus lines to, for example, that connect to downtown and somewhere like this. Well, but of course, uh, you, if no, you can rent car, so it's good. So if you want, you can rent because, of course, you don't have your license there, so you need to change your license, and it takes time and lots of paperwork. So you can do something like renting car. Well, okay. And now, let me check. Okay, any other question? No, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, so as you can see, do you think you have the same thing on your book? So I checked. What do you think or do you think? Ah, do you think you may hear this word? Let me write. It. Reckon. I reckon. It means I think. So it's common, usable. So if you heard this somewhere, it means I think. I reckon. I hear, I think. So it's really normal to use. So you can have this synonym. Okay, well, what do you think? What do you reckon? What do you what do you reckon? Do you have but what do you think is okay? Do you have any idea is better? But as I told you, you can use all these alternatives. So no matter. Okay, but we say something like good and better. For example, as I told you before, when we want to open the lid of something, jar or tin or something else. Some people, especially teachers nowadays, that is something like, I don't know, it's really toxic and boring. You know, for example, we see they teach something that is not really usable. For example, uh, okay twist open it or for example different phrases when you want to say open the lid but there is something we say you know we say open the lid and no matter we normally say because if someone says it's okay we say great thank you you know everything so that's but if no for example when you're really tired you don't say okay for example honey please twist open the jar no just open it just this so i want to say that take it easy english is really easy you know people try to make it confusing it's not it's really easy well and uh okay so i think we discussed all this actually so let me check everything if there is something else about asking for information i don't think so i have one question please of course yeah um <clears throat> my sister said that the public transportation in the u.s is not uh is not safe as in european or in australia 
um, because uh, in Europe and in Australia, almost all kind of people they use the public transport. Of course. Yeah, but in the U.S., um, from average income people, they have their own car and they rarely use um, the public transport. Most of the people with low income, they use the public transport. So uh, that's why when we use the public transportation is uh, not safe as in the Europe. Uh, how do you think about that? OK, so let me say something about uh, may I ask where your sister live because live. So that's really important because of this. Oh, <laughs> mm, be, be, when she studied in. Uh, in America, she. Uh, <laughs> she studied in some different state. Of course, and, uh, in one hospital, the. Um, the doctor told her that you can because she uh, she went to the hospital and back by bus. Um, but the doctor told her that you can use this line, but you cannot go to that place by bus. It's dangerous. Of course, let me say first of all, uh, working class people, people who need to work to spend and to earn money to spend and to make a living. So that's really important to know. As I told you, it depends where the destination is. So, for example, in New York, there are some places that are really dangerous. OK, so we say that no, don't go. But if you go, it's your choice about public transport. When we say safe, you know, I can say that most of people, you know, especially actually in urban areas, not country, I'm not talking about country or uh, countryside. So more, I can say in urban areas where actually uh, I, I, I think people, uh, an average of people who, uh, you know, take the trips by bus or train, it's about can be about 40 person. I'm not sure, but it can be about 40 person. So most of because because of traffic and you know, it's something like and you know, there are more car accidents. OK, then actually uh, public transport accidents, something like bus or train. So they are safer. But about if you mean about, you know, something like pickpocketing or like this, uh, I can say yes, but uh, not, you know, as much as you avoid actually using public transport and it depends. So the area that you want to go, so it's really important not. But, you know, of course, it can be really crowded sometimes because of, you know, working class people, you know, people can't afford, as you know, cost of living in the US is really high, especially in urban areas. You know, of course, um, not all states, so maybe a bit higher, a bit lower, but I can say that people need to work a lot to leave. OK, so uh, they need to. But I think that yes, some areas, but not. I'm not, for example, I've used for when I was younger, when I actually started and uh, before I graduated from university, of course, I most of, you know, university students are used to actually using uh, public transport nowadays. And of course, they used to use in the past. So I don't think so. Of course, as I told you, um, I don't know where your sister live, for example, the destination, of course, every country you know, every country. And as I told you, we have different, for example, Texas, for example, New York, different states, different cultures, different people. So you may face, you may take some risk when, and most of them I think is 
pickpocketing. So <laughs> I can say the most important is pickpocketing. But no, people use. People still use public transport. And for example, sometimes some uh, we can say like artists. As I told you, it's kind of culture, you know, because as you said, most of people thought, used to think that LK okay, public transport is only for uh, something like working class people. No, nowadays, no. Now it's different. No, normally people use, and I don't think it's dangerous. Hmm. So now in America, the working class people, they use public transportation to go to the company or they use their own car? Of course they use. It depends. You know, for example, when you when you want to go somewhere and actually you will get stuck in traffic. Why? Of course, especially railway, especially subway. Yeah, of course, it's really usable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, there is, as I told you, for example, uh, when you own a car. I'm talking about, you know, some areas, you know, of course, I don't know for what people do and I don't know, for example, some other countryside, for example, I'm talking about my area and the areas that I actually I was born. I lived and now I want to say that they use and uh, sometimes people would prefer not to use their own cars. You know, for example, if they want to go shopping, walking, or sometimes, for example, uh, using not using if it's not too far, so walking is the best way. It's something like a part of culture. OK, but people, yes, people use subway, you know, because they have to, you know, they have to. So it's really normal, but danger of course risk is everywhere so something happened so we need to know where to go and and the time time is really important you know for example okay so you want to go to downtown to new york for example it's like you know some some uh i can say areas and say okay it's too late okay say okay i go no matter yes it's matter uh, so you need to be careful but not everywhere I I think it's safe, can be considered as safe. Yeah, I haven't experienced, I haven't experienced any pickpocketing because I used. <laughs> well, OK, any other, do you have any other question that I can help? The, that's why I, I don't dare to go to America because uh -huh. I I like go everywhere by myself. Um, but if I go to America, my relatives might take me by car to different places and I don't want to uh, to lean on another people. <laughs> no worries, you can travel. <laughs> you can travel, no worries. You can travel and you can pub you can use public transport, so no worries. Most of people are using and there is no matter, so don't think about it. So as I told you, uh, when you leave uh, somewhere, people have different opinion, different ideas. Maybe they experienced something before. Maybe they've experienced something before that you haven't. So you have different opinions on the same topic, on the same issue. Because of this, I said that actually it's not something like, you know, I have an experience, so I said, no, people, most of people use. So, but of course you can. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, believe me, you can. You can use public transport in the US, it's okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome, especially some, for example, you know, if you want to travel, California is a really good state. So, yeah, come to California, it's really good. Yeah, LA good so it's really safe so it's okay well <laughs> okay let me check but if you have any other question how about on uh, new york and texas okay so i don't have any idea about texas because i haven't lived there 
So I just mm -hmm. I know. I know there. But about New York. Do you know why New York is New York? Do you know why actually we say New York? Okay. Let me say something. As you know, uh, it's really, I can say, yeah, overpopulated, uh, I think, city. So, uh, but I can say that crime rate, comparing the number of people who live in New York, it's low. OK, so I can say I can say that New York can be considered as one of the safest big city in the US, you know, because uh, because we have, for example, uh, California and we have New York and San Diego. So different states that I know. So they're really safe. They're really safe because uh, but let me say something. Uh, in New York, there are some areas that people from different countries all around the world, you know, immigrate and leave. They'd rather uh, leave New York. So when you, for example, we have Chinese area, we have, for example, some other areas and um, something, for example, Asian neighborhood is something like this in New York. So you see multicultural city. So New York is something like multinational, like multicultural. OK, so when you travel in New York, I think, uh, of course, as I told you, some areas, some areas, that's really normal. That's really normal everywhere, actually. Uh, can be something like can contain these type of places and areas. But we can say that uh, if I want to rank them from the, you know, the safest near can be one of the safest places to live. So because of this, for example, for students who want to study, OK, uh, because New York has the lowest crime uh, rates actually among uh, because this is, as you know, it's uh, metropolitan. So it means metropolitan, including different cultures, people from different uh, countries. So among major and very big metropolitan cities, New York is very safe. So just travel there without thinking about danger and anything. It's too safe. So how about San Francisco? OK, about San Francisco, you know, uh, I can say anything about it because as I told you there, you know, when we say, for example, California, you know, it's something like you have a map and, you know, every area is far from the other area. So I can say anything about it. You know, I haven't heard something like, I don't know, crime rate or something that mm, I haven't heard, but I think, let me think. Uh, let me think. I don't think so. If I want to say as New York safe as New York, I say New York is safer than San Francisco. But, but if I say that, um, yeah, it's safe. Yeah, of course. Uh, but there are some, actually, let me say something because there are maybe it's not gossip, it's real. So let me be honest. Actually, San, you know, San Francisco has a low, you know, violent crime rate. But, but you know, you need to, if you travel, you need to actually be aware of some things. For example, for example, there is something important that you need to know. If you travel there, please be careful about walking at night, as I told you, after a specific time around the city. Don't do this if you want to. You know, for example, uh, most of tourists, we say that they don't know and they go to uh, actually ATM and convenience store 
at night, but San Francisco is not, you know, enough safe to do, you know, safe enough to do this. OK, so avoid if you don't do this, it's OK. It's safe place, of course. I I haven't lived there, so I can't give you very actually accurate information like, you know, for example, California or New York. But, you know, I can say that no avoid if you can see you be aware of you know the area and for example the time no it's okay but at night yeah you may face something really dangerous there especially you know something like uh not something like kidnapping no pickpocketing or i don't know something like uh mocking or something like this it's normal Yeah, <laughs> I talked a lot, so uh, don't yes, travel, yes, <laughs> don't yes, travel yes, to yes. San <laughs> You're welcome. So don't travel to San Francisco. Come to California is better place to visit. So <laughs> OK, so but if you have any other question, I will be really happy to help. Of course, if I can, it's something if you want to ask me anything and I'm here to answer. So any other questions? Yeah. I'm yeah, that's enough for today. <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, yeah, time is over, so we need to go. OK, time to go and thank you again. It was really good time with you and thank you for sharing your information. That was really good and see you yeah. next session. Ah, uh, let me say something. Uh, I will send you uh, a topic and I want you to if you have time. Uh, would you write about it and send your writing to me because I want to assist your writing. So I want to check something. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I will do this and I really appreciate if you do that. Thank yeah, you. Thank so you much. very much for your information. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a good day and goodbye. Yeah. You too. Thank See you, you next week. Of course. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.